Deepti Cheda here. Thank you so much for the amazing response to these conceptual videos. So let us begin very quickly. One of the very hot favorite question for MCQs at inter and final all the levels. And that is what is MMR? Maximum marginal rate of tax. And how to calculate it? That hierarchy we should know. So let us see. What is the maximum rate of tax an individual should pay? 30%. What is the maximum rate of surcharge? Yes, surcharge is paid on tax. So what is the maximum rate of surcharge? 10, 15, 25, 37%. And on tax plus surcharge, how much education says you have to pay? 4%. So maximum marginal rate is the highest rate of the tax individual has to pay. Okay, we are in the learning mode right now. So as usual, I'm sharing the screen. Grab your notepads and write down along with me all the detail and you will get to know how to calculate the maximum marginal relief. So here we begin this concept of maximum marginal, not relief, sorry, maximum marginal rate. It is also known as MMR, maximum marginal rate. It's the maximum tax an individual should pay. Maximum, I miss writing the word maximum tax. So now, suppose let us just assume that your total income is 100 rupees. Of course, you have basic exemption 250 lakhs and all. And on just for the step calculation. Suppose your total income is 100 rupees. What is the maximum tax as an individual you have to pay on this? 30%. On your total income, tax is calculated 30%. Surcharge is the additional tax. There's a separate video for surcharge rates. Do check it up. Different slab rates for individual, different surcharge rates are there. 10, 15, 25, and 37. Surcharge is always calculated on the tax. So surcharge is 37% on the tax. So tax is 30 rupees. Yes, just I'm taking it as 30 rupees on 100 as an example. And on 30, 37% is the surcharge. That comes to how much? 30 ka 37%, 11.1. Now, what is tax plus surcharge? 41.1. Tax is 30 rupees on income, 30%. Surcharge is highest is 37% on tax. That comes to 11.1. .1. So, tax plus surcharge is 41.1. .1. And E says you have to pay education says at the rate of 4% either on tax and if surcharge is there on tax plus surcharge both. So on 41.14%, 1.644 is your ESS. So what is your maximum marginal rate of tax you have to pay or tax payable? 42.744%. Many times in the exam, if this is asked in MCQs, and if you remember it, fine. Maximum tax an individual should pay 30%. Surcharge on that, 37%. And tax plus surcharge put together, E says, uh, 4%. So maximum marginal rate of tax an individual should pay is 42.744% on 100 rupees of income. I hope you are clear with this hierarchy. Pause the video now, take the notes. Tax is calculated on income. Surcharge is calculated on tax. Tax plus surcharge, whatever it is, add ESS. Clear? Tax is calculated on income. Surcharge is calculated on tax. ESS is calculated on tax plus surcharge. Because you are watching the video till end, a bonus point for all of you to note down. You should really like, write this in bold 
so that you don't do any silly mistake in the final exam and let us begin now what i'm making you write either rebate under section 87a will come or surcharge or surcharge will come not both i know some of you may be yeah ma'am this is so clear fine don't do silly mistake ma'am ye steps to you have taught us tax plus surcharge plus ecs rebate aaya to how will rebate come take a pause listen to me if your total income is less than equal to 5 lakhs you get a rebate under section 87a up to 12500 and on balance tax you pay ecs this is the case when your total income is up to 5 lakh and you are a resident individual you will get a rebate if your income exceeds 50 lakhs then you will have to pay surcharge at 10% 1 crore to 2 crore 15% 2 to 5 crore 25% 5 crore and above 37 so tell me one thing if your income is up to 5 lakh go for the rebate if your income individual resident individuals income exceed 50 lakhs go for the surcharge can both come hmm? this is the logical way of learning is this clear to all of you right take notes if you have any doubt comment below and if you really feel you like these concepts you want to learn this way from the beginning to the 160 hours of regular online taxation batch recorded lectures then below this video link is given you can join our telegram group for all the updates and stay in touch with us and any more doubts are there ask and if you really like comment below like the video share it with your friends that this is the concept of maximum marginal rate very very helpful for inter final all the students and wait and watch in this channel do hit the notification so that very soon we are starting with all the amendment lectures and once we complete the amendment series we will be doing all the revision lectures in the coming time so make sure you stay connected with us thank you so much all the best to all of you bye bye signing off now ta deepti chera here bye bye